Yeah, 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 Andy. I'll, I'll do the be better to people thing. I'll do the go home, be better to my wife thing. I'll, be, I'll do the be at work when I'm at work thing. But I'm not doing that fitness thing. Oh, yeah? You'll never have this confidence. You'll never have this self-belief. You'll never have that delusional mindset. You'll never have it. You'll never get those chemicals I got. You'll never be fired up. No one's ever going to want to be around you. You'll miss the biggest deals. You'll never love yourself. Go ahead. You want to miss all that shit? Go ahead. That's a superpower. All change starts with truth and honesty. I want to ask you, will your ego allow you to accept the truth? Think about it. If you went and asked your wife, babe, one to 10, go ask your boss. One to 10, where do you think I'm at? And they say, oh, I think you're an eight. Or, no, babe, you're a nine. Or some of you, you're like, oh, babe, you're a 10. Oh, so pretty much what you're saying is I'm maxed out. Because if out of 10 out of 10, you're already a 10. Is this a 10? But if I was to tell you you're a one, you don't like that, do you? Do you want me to tell you what you like or do you want me to tell you the truth? Here's the truth. And if you can take this, I want to see if you guys can can believe in this and take this or if this offends you. See, if I call him a one, he's like, man, screw this guy. But if I tell him it's a 10, then he's maxed out. Well, if you're maxed out, you can't grow no more. That means this is the best God ever made you to be. I don't like that either. Okay, so let's look at it from these lenses. If you're a one, you're one compared to someone else's 10, right? You might be better than their 10, but it's still your one. You get it? Your 10 isn't his 10, isn't his 10, isn't his 10. And what I realized is that one to 10, when I was 39 years old, if my wife would have asked me, Andy, one to 10, where do you think you're at? I'd say, I'm a 10, baby. And she said, no, dude, you're a one. Your one is better than that man's 10. But when you get to your 10, we're taking over the whole world together. You're a one. And I want to watch you get to your two and your three and your four. And right now, I'm still out of one. This guy, one. When I get my 10, it's over. Every day, I'm chasing that next level of me. Does that make sense? Do you guys understand there's so many more levels, yes or no? If I was to tell you guys you're a one with ego, you hate me. You're like, screw this guy, I'm out of here. I don't have to listen to this. Is your one better than someone else's 10? Sure. But what about your 10? Are we ever going to get your 10 or your 10? If we are, well, no, we can get there. We just got to get serious now. Because death is real. It's an uncontrollable. It could come faster than we ever imagined. And guess what? You know what I want with you guys? I want, my goal with all of you, we're going to make more money than we know what to do with. But only if one thing happens. Number one, when you sell something, you're the most believing son of a bitch on planet Earth. When you sell something, your certainty is so high, you don't even need to talk about the product and they'll buy it all because of you. You can make relationships with people that they've never made in their whole life with anyone else, including their wife or husband, because of the way that you showed up for them. I'm going to say this, because this is all about people. If you can change you, you can change anyone else. If you can unscrew yourself, you can unscrew everyone else around you. Am I right? Okay. So watch this. I want you to look. What are the holes in my game right now? What are the holes? What are my weaknesses? What are my problems? Okay, cool. What would you do if you were advising you? I want us to all write this down. If, if you hired yourself, who got hired? You. you. You just got hired to counsel and advise you. Listen. What would you tell yourself to do if you knew it wouldn't hurt anyone's feelings? 
Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are? In the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. You gotta pull your, see, what I'm asking you to do is pull yourself back. Okay? When people are too close, you're close to him, right? So it's hard for you sometimes to tell him something you need to tell him because it will hurt his feelings. So you got to sugarcoat it. Okay? Pull the feelings out. Do you get it? No feelings. Okay. So you're going to write down how, what would you, for you to kill it and crush it and become the man you always wanted to be, kill it in business, kill it in every area of life, go back, go to war, destroy it. You're the advisor. You got you to gotta disconnect from you for a minute. What would you tell you to do if you knew no matter what you said, it was the truth and you weren't going to hurt anyone's feelings? You got one minute. Write it down. That's what you need to do. Does that make sense? Hey, another way to think about it. You got a mentor? We need to get one. What would your mentor do? If you died today and your, your mentor took your place, what would your mentor do if he was in your situation? You know, I look up to a couple people. Sometimes when I'm struggling my business, I'm like, what if I got fired today and they took over? What would they do? If there's a problem, I say, what would I do in this situation if I knew no one would get their feelings hurt? If, if, what decision would I make if I didn't take anybody's feelings into consideration? I just did what I know I needed to do. Because a lot of the times we need to do something, but we don't do it because it's going to hurt someone's feelings. Am I right? Okay. What would you do if you advised you? Now, everybody's got to write it down. Okay. Did you write yours down? I did. Are you okay to share it? Absolutely. Come on up. I'm just going to share two or three. Is that okay? Hey, by the way, this is where the money's made. No lie. This is how I live. I love this. This is no joke. All right, share it. Be more consistent. So if you were counseling you, you would look at yourself in the face and you'd say, you're not consistent enough. You need to be more consistent, which means the things that you've committed to doing, you need to do it every day and not waver at all. I love it. That will change everything in his life. All right, did you write yours down? Good, give it up for him, guys. All right, here, stand up, come on. Tell him. Hey, by the way, look, you know what? I don't judge anybody, okay? I love it whenever people want to change because they're just like, dude, I'm all in, let's go. Like, dude, listen, I'm, I've been waiting to change. How many of you guys been waiting to change? Good, when you got the shot, you take it. Go ahead. I need to love myself realize that people around me are not my friends and you need to take control of your own destiny. I love that. Watch this. I want to tell you something. He said people around me are not my friends. I came from a place of abandonment. I thought everybody was going to leave me. I thought everybody was going to betray me. So I never got close to anybody. Does that make sense? When I started to like me more, I started to attract people that were the people that I needed to find my whole life. Dude, when you guys become who you're supposed to become, your wife will become who she's supposed to become. Your kids will become who they're supposed to become. And the people that you want to be with in life will show up. Does that make sense? I got people that are like, Andy, I got to recruit some killers. I got to find some badasses. I'm like, but you're not a badass. That's kind of the problem. So like, I'm like, Andy, I want clients that are going to pay us all the money. Bro, you look in the mirror. Do you look like you deserve you should get all the money? What's the problem here? Guys, that's why the total transformation is what this is about. By the way, when you said when you're going to start working on you, dude, the way that you're going to speak, the way that you're going to talk, your language, everything's going to 20x. All right? What would you write down? First one, I said stop being a... 
I love that. Give it up. Give it up. Man, that one makes me happy. Love it. Tim, have you ever read the book Relentless by Tim Grover? Okay, so Tim Grover was Kobe Bryant's coach, Michael Jordan's coach. Tim Grover poked Kobe Bryant every day in every practice. He's like, dude, you should have seen the way that the other basketball guy was shooting, man. He shoots that shot way better than you, bro. You shot 80 of those, dude, he would have made all 80. You only made 70, dude. You're, you're a long ways away. What was he doing? He's pissing him off. Then they would have the ice baths. He had, a, he had a, an academy called an Attack Academy. Now listen to me. Michael Jordan had an NBA coach, right? But he had a second coach also that was more dangerous than his NBA coach. And that was Tim Grover. And Tim Grover, they ran him longer in practice. And then when it was done, every time they were done, they had to go get in the ice bath. And if you were a person, that this is how they weeded people out with entitlement. There was these NBA basketball players. Some of you have gotten older. You're a man now. You're, you're not in high school. I don't need someone else telling me what to do. You're not my dad. That's entitlement. You're, you're uncoachable. You don't want to grow. They use the ice bath to recover people, but secondly, to test people's mental toughness and see what they're, they're capable of pushing through. So you're an NBA player. You just got done practicing all day. And then you're like, okay, I'm out of here. No, no, you're not out of here, bro. You're getting in the ice bath. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I'm not getting in the ice bath. If you don't get in the ice bath, you're out of here. Go back to the NBA. We're not coaching you no more. You can't tell me to get in the ice bath. You're out. The protocol, train your ass off. When you're done, you get in the ice bath. Kobe Bryant did it. Michael Jordan did it. Look who they became. Some people said, I don't want to get in the ice bath. What is your ice bath? I'm not doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andy, uh, I'll do the be better to people thing. I'll do the go home, be better to my wife thing. I'll, be, I'll do the be at work when I'm at work thing. But I'm not doing that fitness thing. Oh, yeah? You'll never have this confidence. You'll never have this self-belief. You'll never have that delusional mindset. You'll never have it. You'll never get those chemicals I got. You'll never be fired up. No one's ever going to want to be around you. You'll miss the biggest deals. You'll never love yourself. Go ahead. You want to miss all that? Sh Go ahead. That's a superpower. You're literally sitting here and you got a superpower and you're trashing it. So I always learned, and I can give you data. Do you believe what I'm telling you about these things? Why, why are we not doing them? This is your adult sport. Let's be crystal clear. Business. Every one of you are out of high school. This is your adult sport now. Your adult sport is business. Your adult sport is your fitness. You, you, because you became an adult, when you were younger, did you want to be attractive in shape? Yeah. So as you got older, should you want to be unattractive and out of shape? No. You should still want the same thing. It's a sport. Your life is a sport. This is a game. Are you winning or are you losing? Imagine playing a game and not wanting to be competitive. This is a game. You guys are all built for it. And I'm going to tell you this. Every day from now on, you're going to go into this game. You're going to give it all you got. And every day, you're going to get better at the game. You're going to look up in six months. I swear on my life, your income will be double. Every one of you will make it twice money. But the people's lives around you will be like, dude, I love seeing what you're doing, man. You're inspiring the hell out of me, man. I've seen how you've changed. It's so crazy. Then you're going to get this thing in your heart called purpose. You want to make more money? You got to have a bigger sense of purpose. You got to be, that's how you close deals. Dude, you look like you live for something. What do you live for? A paycheck? That's junk. You want a paycheck? Become the man. Become the man. I want you to kill off. If I was to say a prayer, I'd say, God, please kill off our weaknesses. Every weakness we have in us, kill it off. We've been around people that are, that are letting us be comfortable. Your wife, your girlfriend, she probably finds comfort in you. Listen, my wife's going to find strength in me. You get the difference? You say, well, I want to comfort my family. I want my family to find strength in me. 
The last thing they need is comfort. The world gets plenty of comfort. I want to be the person sitting at my kitchen table. Everything goes south in the world. And my family looks at me and they're like, we got a secure man right here at the table. We're good. He's going to lead us. We're good. I don't even question it. Are you the one sitting around like, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do. That's, I ain't going out that way. I'm going to fight for it. So we got to become honest. L listen, listen. The person that can self-correct is forever wealthy. Who in here can change the fastest makes the most money. Who in here can change the quickest wins. Who in here can kill all entitlement off. Mediocrity. Can you get rid of it? You know you got it, right? Kill it. Can you kill it? I mean it. Can you feel it crawling up your skin and your back? Average. Can you feel it? Kill it. Kill it, bro. This ain't the best you. This is your one. Your one. Not your you're going to your 10. This is your one. You're not a five. You're not an eight. You're a one. Be proud of it. Be like, dude, I'm going to go get to my two, my three, my four. Now, it's his one. You may say, dude, I make more money than anybody in my company. Okay. How much more room do you got to grow? Do you want people to believe that you have a shitload of room to grow because that's how badass you are? Or you're close to being maxed out? Which one? Shitload of room. Okay, so get excited about it. The only way to pull it out is honesty. My wife, I told her I wanted to start saving money when we were younger. You know what she did? She pulled the bank account out. I can pull your numbers right now. I can pull her numbers. I can pull your numbers. It'll tell me everything you're doing. Data doesn't lie. People lie. Forget your feelings. Pros, pros focus on the data. Okay? Amateurs focus on their feelings. You know what my wife did? She pulled my bank statement. Me and her. And I said, I want to save money. She went through everything with me. She said, here's a pink highlighter. If I spent the money, we highlight it in pink. If you spend it, we highlight it in yellow. We went through the whole thing. You know what I realized? First thing, 7-Eleven, $178. Me. What in the hell did you spend $178 on at 7-Eleven? Man, you know, babe, I had to get the energy drinks for the team, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Every one of them. You know where their money was going? Me. I was blowing it all. I spent it all. I had an excuse. I had the best excuses. And excuses only sound good to the people who are making them. My wife, when we were done, she goes, it's all bull. You have no accountability. Everyone in this room, listen to me. Do you want to make more money, yes or no? Yes. Want to get in better shape? Human excellence, all these things, there's only one way, more accountability. There's only one. There's only one. And some of you don't like accountability. Human beings hate pain, they hate suffering, they hate accountability. They hate the truth. Most of you would rather believe a lie and just live numb. You know what I want? You know what I've learned? Pain teaches. Do you guys agree? Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, got to train. That's the way it works. Train or complain. It's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's going to be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. Is pain good for you? So good for you. Is it good for you to suffer? So good for you. Dude, what are you going to do with it? Here's how I learned. So, guys, I have really good vibes. I'm a sales guy, so like I smile for a living. I have a great attitude. I'm always persuading, right? I'm always, I'm always fired up. I'm gonna give you a secret. I operate 60 to 70% out of the dark side. I am constantly living in this. I wanna tell you what it is. It's a re-prove stage. This is where we'll end today. Are you guys glad to be alive, yes or no? 
Would you agree that there's probably a point in an instance in every one of your lives that you shouldn't be here? Can everybody think back to one point you should have died? Why are you here? Make it count. Listen, they invested a lot of money for you guys to come here. Training doesn't have to be long. We don't have to sit here for four days. You just got to have an, an vision of who do you want to be. Is this person you are now that person? No. That's the truth. You're capable of way more. Remember when, who has kids? Raise your hand. Remember when you had your kids and you took them home from the hospital? You said, babe, every night I'm going to pray with them. I'm going to tuck them in. I'm going to brush their teeth. I'm going to do all these things. And then four years later, you're not doing it no more. Stop proving. You, you didn't keep your word anymore. You got busy. What was once that blessing? That busy. Remember when, who's married? You're in a relationship. Yep. Remember when you met your girl? You're like, oh man, dude, like if you, listen, there's this saying, it says, if you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. If you treat something like you did the first day you found out about it, there would never be an end because the newness would never wear off. The problem with a lot of you is that the newness is worn off in your marriage, in your job, in your, your, your job that you have right now. Remember when you first got it, the day they hired you, you're like, yeah, you're coming on. They're like, oh my God, yes, I'm going to kill it. Wait, I'm going to be the best. Once I learn how this stuff works, I'm going to be the best. Maybe that was you. I know you didn't hire on and go, oh yeah, at least I got a paycheck now. I'm going to be average. No, that'd be horrible. You're like, I'm going to be the best. Okay, who put the fire out? You did. I can't put your fire out. I can't. It's physically impossible. Oh, by the way, why do we work out and go to the gym in the morning? Because if you don't tell yourself who you are, the world's going to tell you who the hell you are real fast. Okay? You say, I'm not a loser. Bullshit. Winners wake up early. Put the work in. Intentionally do hard shit. Get mentally tough and get ready to attack the day. So if you didn't do that, you can't get that. It's a rule. You can't, you can't get those chemicals I'm telling you about. You can't be proud of yourself. You know? And, and a lot of people hate other people that are doing the work that they're not doing. You see another guy in good shape, you're like, screw that guy. No, dude, that guy's just doing the work you're not doing. That's it, man. You can do the same thing. You can have the same marriage. You can be the same parent. You can have a bigger paycheck than that dude. Don't get mad at him because he's putting in the work that you're not putting in. Listen, I always say this. Be careful what you ask for. If you say you want that life, you have to go through what that person went through too. Okay? And here's what we got to do. It's a very simple play when we get out of here. Number one, okay? I know you love your families. Let's go back to them. And when we're with them, let's be with them. We're going to go back to our jobs. Our jobs are not our jobs anymore. It's our life. By the way, for, just for everybody, there's no trophy for, there's no trophy balance trophy. It's work-life integration. Does that make sense? Okay, take your families with you on this journey. Your job isn't to go home and then you're a, a new man. Your job is to go home and show your wife this new man and then she's gonna wanna come with you and you gotta tell her, babe, I want you to come with me. Hey, don't say I want you, say I need you. I need you to come with me. I need you. Oh, yeah, but I don't want to do that. Hey, I need you. Trust me. Don't listen to that shit and they say, I don't need to do this. Listen. And if they say they don't need to, when they see how much you've changed, how much you've loved them, boom, they're going to do it. How do we make more money in business? Lastly, how do we sell more? Simple, right here. Reprove. This is it. What did they say to you? You weren't going to make it? Okay, how have you guys been to yourself in your head, the conversations you've been having with you? We're done. We'll never operate that way again. I want to tell you guys something. I'm living proof. You're not me and I'm not you, but I am you and you are me. We're the same. 
I've been in sales since I was 18 years old. I learned two very easy things. Sales and leadership will make you rich. The goal isn't to get rich and make a lot of money and become a shit bag. The goal is to live a rich life and get rich with our company. Does that make sense? How do you get rich? Human excellence. How do you have conversations with people that they've never had with anyone else? You become somebody different than anyone else they've ever seen. And this is the finishing part. You guys are all a testimony right now. You guys have a book, it's like this. And it's like if I was to look at his book, he started here and he's got writing. And this page is empty, y'all see it? What's next? Like no bullshit, what's next? Total recreation. How fast do you want it? You gotta start today, okay? So I'm gonna finish with this last little thing. If you can change every day, you'll change 365 days in one year. You guys get it? Pretty simple math, right? If you can only change once a week, you'll change 52 times in a year. It'll take you seven years to get to 365 times change like it did the guy with in one year. So we got three people. One guy changes daily. He changes 365 times in a year. Guy two changes weekly. He changes 52 times in a year. It takes him seven years to get to where this guy, number one guy got in one year. Seven years. And he, and he changed weekly versus daily. Then there's the last guy who changes monthly. That's 12 times in a year. It takes him 20 years to get to where this guy got in seven and that guy got in one. My question is, where will you guys be all in one year? How far can you be in just 30 days? Where can you guys be tomorrow? Do listen to me. Human beings are so resilient, they grow so fast. The secret to sales is certainty. The secret to sales is belief. The secret to sales is believing in yourself. You guys know your product, right? People will buy you over your product every day. Walking billboards, okay? Speak differently when you walk out of here. And by the way, I said the hardest thing to do would be to change in front of your peers, okay? So is that gonna be your deal when you die and you go to heaven? God's gonna be like, damn bro, remember I got you in front of Andy Elliott and he painted that picture of who you're supposed to be, remember that? I had him yell at you for two hours. That was who you're supposed to be, but then you went home and then your wife's like, what are you doing, babe? Come on, you don't have to do all that. Dude, she was in a, in a down state, man. You were supposed to man up and lead the family. But instead, because she said that, you quit? Bro, are you kidding me? She said that because she thought it was going to hurt your feelings. She didn't, she didn't know you were capable of being that guy. But you know, hey, here's a rule. No one knows what's inside of you but you. Am I right? Right? Does that make sense? Okay, so like if... if if he tells me he's going to become something, and I'm like, you're a liar. How the hell do I know what's in him? The problem is I put a boundary on him, and when he goes outside of that boundary, it pisses me off. Okay? Nobody knew what I was going to do but me. I went crazy. I started breaking all these records. I started killing it. Everything I wanted was right here. I just had to not let anyone else talk me out of it. And then eventually, you're going to get a lot of hate and a lot of shit, and there'll be a few inspired. When you give everybody, the whole world, evidence that now you're this, then they'll be like, oh, I knew he was always going to do it. I knew it. He was always going to be amazing. He was always such a fighter. Bullshit. They didn't believe in you any step of the way. Do you got it? There's a saying that we have in our company is that an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat, okay? You guys got me? And it means an individual, you guys can individually get out of here, and you guys can try to go do this on your own. And you're gonna need to be held accountable for your own stuff, yes. But a team can't be beat. The power is in the team. Do you guys get it? Look, you guys are all broken, so am I. You guys are all a bunch of misfits, so am I. 
You guys are all capable of anything. So am I, okay? If today you found value in this and you appreciate everything that you guys are, are doing, change. Whether you work in the company or you're of any, change. Go hard, recreate, become a better version. Show them, show them that this investment was the greatest investment of their life. Not only financially, economically, but like for what they did for your families. Does that make sense? And, and, and you even, outside of your family, that you, you like you, you're getting better. And then they'll become addicted to, to doing more for you guys. Does that make sense? Okay, so I love you guys. I'm grateful for you. I appreciate you. Your last couple hours of time, like together, we got close. We shared a lot of sh Dude, we're all going to destroy it together, okay? All right, you guys feel good? Yes. All right, let's go. All right, hey, let's get a picture. Can we get a picture? Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero 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 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters that can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I want to get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I want to roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link. It says Coach With Me One on One. Okay, if you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, Click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.